and welcome to Sabies TV. I'm Harry. And I'm Emily. Today we have a wide variety of stories for you to watch and enjoy. We even have your teachers performing bush tucker trials. But first we have sports with Josh. Hello and welcome to St Bede Sports. I'm Josh and here's the roundup. First of all, here's eight and nine girls reach cup finals and are going to Blackpool. Year nine are the mixed badminton champions of Lancashire. They are Brenna, Katie, Harry and Bailey. Well done. Year 9 girls came third in Blackburn with Darwin netball. Years 10 and 11 girls in Blackburn with Darwin hockey. That's all. I'm Josh shining off. That is making me tired just by watching it. Well done to everyone who took part. You all did very well. Yes, I agree. But now we have a little more about Year 10's work experience. This is, a, this is a work experience interview with Shannon Maudsley and Alicia Wormsley. We're going to be asking them questions about what they did on their work experience. What did you learn and um, what did you do on your work experience? Um, I went to a pet shop for my work experience. And I'm learning sign language. Um, I learning sign language. Um, what did you learn from working at work experience? Um, I learned how to like for animals properly um, I just got like good customer yeah communication yeah customer stuff <laughs> what did you do Sean? Um, I've been learning how to speak well do sign language and um, I've been like talk, like being able to communicate with deaf people right Um. Would you recommend it to other Year 10s? Um, yeah, yeah, I'd recommend it to other Year 10s. It looks really good on your CV. Um, and yes, I would, because uh, to be able to speak sign language is an amazing thing. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. You haven't done it yet? Um, I've learned sign language. <laughs> Yeah, but have you enjoyed learning about sign language? Yes, I have. And did you enjoy um, working at a pet store? Yeah. Right. Wow, I'm excited for year 10 and I cannot wait till it's my turn. Yes, but you wouldn't be excited if you had to stay in school longer. Now let's see what all you lot had to say about this. Hello, I'm reporting for Sophie's TV and this is Kira. So Kira, what do you think about long school days? I don't think it's a really good idea. And why is that? Because we already spend six hours at school and I think that's all we have to spend. Well, what, what do you think would be changed if there was long school days? Uh, I think we should do like more long, like longer breaks. Hello, I'm Laura and I'm reporting for St. Beats TV. Today I'm going to be asking Rebecca what she thinks of long school days. So, what do you think? Um, I think we stay in school for six hours now and that's long enough. And do you think there might be any benefits if they were longer? Uh, I think we'd get taught more, but I think it's better if we have longer to do homework. Hi, I'm Chad, interviewing for St. Beats TV. I'm here with Laura and Beth on longer school days. So Laura, what do you think about longer school days? I think that it's not a good idea because it's longer and it's, like, it's already tiring enough. But you might like learn more and that might mean that people are cleverer for exams and stuff. So Beth, what do you think? Um, well, I think that we should have like, we should start earlier or like later in the morning and then finish later at night. So like, it, yeah, like a couple of hours, but like not, not like, not too much. Yeah, because then we'll be able to time to do homework. Okay, thank you. I'm Chad, and that was an interview. Staying on the subject of school, we have a new after school club for all of you science lovers, and it is called STEM Club. And what does that stand for? Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Hello, CBC TV, and welcome to Science Club. Here with me are Luke and Kira. So, tell me what you've been doing here. We've been making trials with Sam and Kira, and we've been making trials with Sam Well, the display looks fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. It about an hour to make it. So do you enjoy doing this science club then? Yeah. Yeah, it's really yeah, It seems really fun. So what have we got here then? Well, it's a paper mache volcano. 
Oh, so how are we making it? What you do is turn some paper up and put some glue on and just stick it down. That seems really interesting. So, do you find it fun? Yeah, but you get your fingers very sticky. <laughs> so this is Science Club. Um, open every night after school on Thursdays and open to sevens, eights and nines. Feel free to join if you want. That looks really fun. Yeah. And now we have a weather report with Molly. Hello, I'm Molly and today the weather is 50 degrees, which means that your smartphone will stop working. Oh, wait, that's Spain. Uh, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. That's all from me. Back to the studio. And now what we've all been waiting for. I'm a teacher. Get me out of here. Hello, I am Amy. And I'm Caitlin. And we are here to present the first ever I'm a teacher. Get me out of here. The teachers have been picked. The foods have been chosen and the rulings are final. The teachers are Mr Atkinson, Mr Bealby, Mr Butler, Mr Jill and Mr Diffley. The top teacher was Mr Diffley, a lonely, sad, muscle machine math teacher living out of a prison. And here is his part taking... <laughs> and we've got a final contestant and I'm a teacher, get me out of here. The one, the only, Mr Diffley, the highest ranking person to take the most money in the whole competition. Well. How do you feel knowing that you were numero uno? Absolutely wonderful. I bet you do. Best feeling of my life. Are you ready to spin the wheel? No. <laughs> do it when you're ready. <coughs> Is it turning? I think you should spin again. It very, yeah, really it I know you uh, maths teachers have got weak arms. That's it. Ooh. Oh. Not a bad one. <laughs> Not a bad. Does that count as a Tabasco? Was that part of the fan, boys? Yeah. Looking it's, back at uh, your reactions. That's, it's this stuff over here. The soy sauce. Yeah, so. It, well, it's actually. Tabasco. Tabasco. Tabasco mix. Tabasco soy mix. Brilliant. Yeah. So what? I think. On its own, I think I've got two of the others. Do you get one? Well, I think you should have a big spoon. I'll tell you what, yes. Mr. Diffley, I think you should do a bit of cinnamon first, then Tabasco. Oh, oh, that's 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 good on now we're changing the rules. We're changing the goalposts. Oh, oh, oh. It moved. A bit of baking powder, a bit of baking powder. Uh, they'll make some oh, nice no, cinnamon. Go for cinnamon. 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 And what, we'll put it in the mouth. And then follow on the old, uh, old lid. Yeah, that's it. 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 Yeah, all of Mr. Hollinghurst's uh, food from lunch times, and that's you know pretty disgusting. So uh, I think I'm ready and I'm up for this. Which one of the items really don't you want to eat? To be honest, I've seen the um, I've seen the cinnamon challenge um, on YouTube, and I really don't want that one. Would you like to spin the wheel now? I will. Okay, so we've got this wheel. Let's have a look. Um, here we go. Ooh, the mealworms. I smelt these before and they smell absolutely disgusting. Oh, so they're the mealworms. This is horrible. Oh, they're really crunchy, they're hard as well. Do you want me to have a couple? Yeah. Right, there we go. Mealworms. I've got my water ready just in case. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Atkinson. Mm. The third party teacher to take part was Mr. Bilby, an ex college leader who spends his time polishing his head whilst eating salt and vinegar crisps. Let's see how his fate ends up. Will he turn the wheel to salt and vinegar critters or are mealworms in his favour? And we've got our next contestant, Mr. Bilby. Um, how are we feeling today, Mr. Bealby? I felt better. God, I, mean, I felt better. You'll be all right after this, don't I'm you? I'm having on a chip shopping all, I tell you. We haven't had many illnesses with this uh, contest as of yet, so if you'd like to spin the wheel, we'll be ready. I'd rather eat a Wigan pie than do this. <laughs> spin the wheel of fortune. 
Ooh. Oh, it's the baking soda. Oh, the baking uh, soda. <laughs> the baking soda. That's a blow. Right. Yes, it is a diddly. Baking powder and what the lines have got with it. So, take a heaped spoon of your baking soda first of all. This one. That's the one, yeah. Don't need this, I've got to admit. Might have been weird, but. <laughs> The old soy soap, no, a bit of vinegar. Yeah, I think it's possible. It, it, it? Eat, eat the baking soda first. Don't eat, quickly... don't eat it, just put it in your mouth and then put the vinegar in afterwards. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't swallow. No? No. Mm -hmm. Come on! <laughs> Easy! Come on! Mr Butler is our fourth, but not final contestant of the day. The man spends the weekends going to reenactments pretending he is the king. They've even named a graph after him, the Butler Curve. All hail the Butler as he appears now. <laughs> are you? <laughs> what are you doing there? Uh, just checking the equipment, Mr Butler. Good afternoon, Mr Butler. Welcome to our charity event. I'm a teacher. Get me out of here. Are you looking forward to today's challenge? With great relish. Fantastic. Well, let's get started. Would you like to give our wheel a tug? What's he got? Tabasco. Oh, he's got a Tabasco. Not bad. Where's that? Uh, I believe it is... I've never had Tabasco before, but I believe it's that. That's soya. Oh, is it? Well, no. <laughs> is it that one then? That's vinegar. They didn't have any Tabasco. Oh, Jesus God. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, <laughs> Right, well, I was... Shall we spin again, Miss Nolan-Kirk? Uh, yes, Mr Butler, please do spin again. We seem to have had a food malfunction. Okay. Slap, slap He's the got the mealworms. Oh, no. There you go, Mr Butler. If you'd like to help yourself. How many? Um, um, I don't know, some of the students did three or four, one, one seems, doesn't seem very much. They're not bad actually. <laughs> They're not as good as back of Chris, but... <laughs> Finished. Done. Do I have to uh, do anything else? Well, well, unless you want to spin again, if you want to go for something more exotic. There's nothing more exotic than that, is there? Well, this one here with a big thorax on it. You could have had a, have a go with that. Could spin, spin again. Oh, he's got the scorpions again. Scorpions. Well, what can you do with this? You have to just do like a before and after or something. <laughs> Could show you before and then afterwards riding round in agony I mean, on the floor. I mean, it's like apple, but obviously I can't bite into that. I've got hardly any teeth left. Oh! There's a crack at the top, and I think you'll get to the head. There you go. There we go. How's that? Is it everything you imagined a scorpion to be? There's definitely a little sting in it somewhere. <laughs> I haven't got to have it yet though. <clears throat> I'm not sure this is great TV, <laughs> is it? Uh, <laughs> they need to come up with better than this. Well, there you have it, folks. Mr. Butler seems to be enjoying his scorpions and mealworms. 
Done. Thank you very much, Mr. Butler, for your time. No problem. We appreciate it. Enjoyed it. The final contestant that you have chosen is Mr. Jill. So the hippie thinks he can hack it. We'll see. The man is a preacher of pencils. If you have a pencil, you can draw. Here comes the trial. <laughs> Today we're joined by our third contestant, Mr. Jill, for the I'm a Teacher Get Me Out of Here on a Group Challenge. Okay, Mr. Jill, you look nervous. Are you nervous? Absolutely bricking it. Are you ready to spin the wheel? Not really, no. Uh, I've figured out, actually, this is weighted. Whenever I spin it, I've tried it. Whenever I spin it, it lands on these. Lies, Mr. Jill, things. all lies, as if we rig it. Right, go on, spin it anyway. Go on, give it a good spin. Good luck, Mr. Jill. Cheers, dude. Baking soda. That, I, think, I think this is on the worms. Uh, no, you think, guys? No, it's definitely on the baking soda and the vinegar. So, whenever you're ready, Mr. Jill, we'll just move that out of the way. Right, sure. Move this out of the way. Um, baking soda first. Now, I've given you a, tea, a tablespoon there, but you don't have to have a full tablespoon. And then, once you take that, have that once, and we'll just see what happens. I'll just move out of it over here, out of the way. So, get that one first. Hang on a minute, I'm getting some instructions here that I want, I want to know about. What is Tommy Clark saying? Put that in your mouth, Fizzle. Hello and welcome to I'm a Pupil, get me out of here. Here's our year eight special. Our three girls are going to eat exactly the same. So, Laura, spin the wheel. Woo! Oh, 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 you got meal worms! No, we got cinnamon. You got, are you going to do cinnamon? Yeah. Okay, I'm, right. I'm happy with that. Right, so you spoon go first. Now you can do it at the same time. Okay, you go. I'm so scared. You, well, you take the first spoon for me. Don't put it in your mouth yet, just take a spoonful. That much? What are you chopping? Oh, yeah, that's it, hold on my nice big spoonful. <laughs> that is big. Oh god. I'm oh, oh, so scared. Oh, Laura, I've oh, cinnamon. cinnamon. <laughs> I've never had cinnamon. What is cinnamon? No what is idea. it? It's a spice. No. Okay, don't have too much. You ready? Not really. Hang on, let's just in case. I'm going to move out of the way. <laughs> There's the bucket, just in case okay, you need it. No, really, I can't look at it. Oh, my. Who's first? Three. <laughs> all of it at the same time. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I know. Well, now we have a video to show us about why we should treasure our mothers. Hello, this is Mr. Jill. 
this week's theme is about Mary and motherhood. Mothers do many things for us. They do, they do simple things we don't realise and things which are really obvious such as ironing, the washing up, cleaning. But most importantly, teaching us certain skills that help us on our life journey. Mothers are a little bit like Mary. They aim to help others and please God by bringing up their children safely and loving them. Mary was an extremely kind, loving person that God chose her to have Jesus and she cared for him very well through tough times and easy times. Mary let Jesus lead his own life but she she always helped to guide him on the right path. Mary herself had a prayer written about her and named after her. This was after Mary ascended to heaven. Christians used this prayer in church and when praying the rosary and in our time of need. Mother Teresa is always thought of on of us, the mother of us all. She, didn't, she did many things in her life and was very holy. This led to her becoming a saint. She helped many people such as poor and also did a lot of, of preaching. But how can we say thanks to our mothers? Well, we can thank her at Mother's Day. We can thank her on Mary's birthday. We can thank her all the time with simple words such as thank you. Next week, the 11s, year 11s are leaving. They are leaving their school days behind and exploring the world we miss them all. That's all for now, but more next time from us at St. B3B. I'm Emily. And I'm Harry. Signing off.